Hey guys, today we're back working with a landscaping business. Last night I had to drop a few things off at the local mechanic, so I thought, hey, why don't I just drive the work truck home, but let's hop on in it, and let's get on over to the shop. Today guys, we've been hired by a local farmer. He has a pond and he wants us to brush mow around it. We've got a lot of rain recently. It's grown pretty high and he just can't get too close with his tractors and his bat wing mower. So it should be a pretty fun project for us. And we aren't just going to use any machine. We're going to be using our Kubota mini excavator. And I did buy a brush mower attachment. It was pretty pricey, but it should be a lot of fun. Our first time brush mowing with excavator here in Farmson. But like always guys, there's a full mods list link down below and if you do end up enjoying today's video please hit the like button as it really does help out with the YouTube algorithms. I'm thinking that since we're already driving the Cummins, why don't we use this to tow the trailer? And I think for the mini excavator, the tow trailers are just the way to go here. It's a little bit better traction wise and we aren't trying to take the tr uh, the tracks up a very narrow ramp here. So let's come on around. It, it looks like it is here. Now we do have another crew going out. I believe they're going to be doing some driveway repair. It's like a half mile long driveway. It's a pretty long one. And then we do have a second crew going out, I believe to mow right around 10 lawns. Uh, so it is is definitely a busy Monday here for us that's awesome business is booming and we just got to keep hiring on help all right we got the trailer ready to go here let's get the garage door open on up now I was working on this last day day and a half uh, making sure it was ready to go here but look at this guys the Kubota Mini X uh, you guys can see this is the U48-4 model pretty neat and it we uh, do have a brush hog mower here this is run uh, pr uh, only on hydraulic power uh, which is pretty sweet you guys can see that looks so cool on it now I was thinking why don't we take the bobcat but the Kubota is a little bit smaller and like I mentioned guys there was a water rain so we should be able to reach uh, I would say almost 15 feet from the excavator base and we should be able to go almost right to the water's edge uh, which uh, should work out pretty neat here but let's get it loaded up. Just closing the rolling door there. It was a bit tricky getting it loaded on up here. Always these excavators. Sometimes you just uh, lose traction, especially in the winter uh, when there's a little bit of ice. There's really no traction getting it on up. But there we have it. Now, guys, uh, today is going to be really hot. It's going to be like 90 to 94 degrees. So having a nice AC cabin is going to be awesome to work with. But I'm going to grab a few things in the office, double check a few things, and then we're going to be ready to head on over to the farm. Now guys, this year with the landscaping company, we've been extremely busy, which has been awesome here. I can't wait for all the upcoming videos. You guys have been showing great support. We'll keep making these uh, since these are a lot of fun here. But I will say, guys, this Cummins is probably one of my favorite regular cab long beds here in Farms. I really do like how it looks. It's a great work truck. Now one thing, I do want to add some gas tanks to a few of our trucks here, especially when the machines are out at job sites. We can't really be using a these small five gallon uh, containers to bring diesel get them filled on up there but we have probably about a 20 25 minute drive over uh, since we're going into farm country With the landscaping business, guys, I've tried to take on more and more jobs, all different types of jobs here, which have been pretty awesome. And I will say expanding with multiple excavators has come in really handy. We've been able to do a lot more excavation, and these machines are just so handy at so many different projects, uh, which is so much fun here. Now, we do own a few bigger dumb trucks, which I've actually been working with contractors. We've been hauling materials, so almost all of our equipment is a busy work and making us money, which is so exciting and soon we're gonna get into the fall rush here but we're just about here at the farm yeah this looks to be it here now we're gonna uh, get as close as we can here to the pond I don't really want to be going on his uh, lawn with a truck and trailer but uh, as close as we can get the pond looks to be right off his gravel parking lot here. Wow, look at that. Almost a foot and a half, two feet tall in some areas. You guys can actually see this is all mowed uh, completely, very nicely kept, and then all around it. Oh, yeah, guys, I can feel it. You could actually see water uh, squeezing out as I'm walking on it here. So we do want to be careful. We don't end up wanting uh, to get ourselves uh, stuck here, but pretty neat pond. Looks like it also has a little stream to go along with it. 
Let's hop in the Kubota, guys. Let's get it warmed up. Let's get to work here. Now, I will say, guys, I'm so excited to give this a try. If this does work, I'm actually going to be doing a lot of advertising here. Hopefully, uh, we can take on more jobs like this as well. But funny thing, guys, this job has been in the works for about two weeks. Ever since I said I would do it, I was looking for the right machine or the right attachment. And this uh, just came out to be the case here, which is pretty awesome. But uh, let's get the brush hog going here. It's going to take probably a minute or two to get fired on up there, you guys, since the blade's already spinning. That is so cool here. Now, one thing, I think we might have to keep the door open just in case we end up sliding. That way, we could run on out. We're getting to work here, brush mowing. You guys can see we are kind of about 10 feet from the side, which is definitely a good thing. We don't want to end up uh, kind of sliding on in here. And we're taking a few uh, bushes there to the edge. But look at that, guys. This is working out so much better than what I was even thinking it was. Uh, this is a pretty cool thing, guys. Haven't really seen uh, Excavator do this. I did see a few uh, YouTube videos before, so I thought this would be a really cool idea. And uh, some of you guys uh, do also come up with some great ideas, so drop them down below. And if you guys haven't already, go check me out over on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there uh, some pretty cool sneak peeks and updates about the channel. But look at this, guys. We're getting right up close, uh, and we are doing a really, really good job here. Now, one thing, he might have us out here to uh, do a little bit of dredging because usually uh, the ponds do get a, a shallower over time here. But I will say this is working out quite well. We're making pretty good progress here. Now, one thing, guys, we are causing a little bit of tire ruts with the tracks uh, since it is pretty wet here. But I will say, guys, really no problem so far, which is a good thing. And this is coming out quite well here. I think one or two passes just like this, and uh, this will be pretty cool here. And, uh, hey, I never knew uh, you could put a brush mower on an excavator like this. But sometimes, guys, I'm just the one to uh, kind of do the research and uh, buy it. But this has been working out quite well look at that. I'm not sure if we would have been able to come close here with the skid. I would have been worried we, that we would have kind of slid on into the pond, the stream, and with a zero turn, probably would have been the same. Our best bet would have been uh, maybe the bat wing, but uh, we would have had to get the tractor pretty close. Like I mentioned earlier, guys, with the landscaping company, we do a lot of lawn care. Sometimes it's mowing lawns. Other times, it's things like this. These very unique jobs do get us paid a lot more as well. It's always fun, though, uh, to change it up from the usual zero-turn mowing. And you guys can see this thing has been a pretty good one. Hey, I might post a picture on the uh, marketplace and see if we could get some extra business. Pay for this attachment uh, since the attachment for this, guys, was $3,000. A little bit more than what it would even be for a skid steer. Let's hop on out. Let's take a quick break now to make one pass all the way around, guys. It took almost a half hour. It's just going pretty slow here. Just trying to make sure we are doing a pretty good job here. And these excavators don't travel too fast here. But I think I'm going to put down the camera and just finish this here and uh, get on to the next job. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a pretty fun one. Uh, getting to use a Kubota with that brush hog to do quite a bit of mowing around the pond here. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more.